is a triple threat for the WWE. The Electric Championship. Feel great. From West Newberry, it's time to go to work. With two hundred fifty pounds, John C. John Cena claims he's ready to go tonight by beating the WWE Champion CM Punk Monday on Raw. Cena says he's ready to claim what is his tonight. It would be his 11th reign as WWE Champion. Yeah, John Cena is 7-0 at Survivor Series. It's the second longest streak in the pay-per-view. Second only to The Undertaker at WrestleMania. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds each, is the first WWE Champion, C. N. Punk. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight marks day number 364 that CM Punk has been WWE Champion. He's currently tied with Hulk Hogan for the eighth longest reign in WWE history. And how can you possibly underestimate a record like that? CM Punk is just one day away from making it one full year. That's right, King. The first man to gain pinfall or submission will be the winner, meaning CM Punk doesn't even have to be involved in the decision to lose the title. King, I have to ask you, a lot of people have been talking all week long about CM Punk being paranoid heading into tonight, that perhaps tonight's the night that everything comes crashing down for Punk. Do you believe these rumors? Well, the pressure of carrying that championship one day away from being a year? Of course he's nervous. Oh my, what a flurry of kicks. Man, Ryback is just unstoppable right now. Last year at Survivor Series, CM Punk forced Alberto Del Rio to tap out for the Anaconda Vice to capture the WWE title. The same time he still holds 364 days later. You're right, one year later and not much has changed. Actually, come to think of it, that's not true. CM Punk has become considerably less likable now than Paul Heyman has started hanging around him. Unlikable? You think CM Punk cares if you like him, King? This isn't a popularity contest. This is WWE. And CM Punk is the WWE Champion, bottom line. John Cena tweeted earlier this evening about strategy. What do you do? Do you try to take Ryback out early? Well, to do that, King Cena may have to form an alliance with his arch enemy CM Punk. Given what they've been through in the past, I'd be shocked to see a Cena-Punk union. Well, whatever your strategy is, you make sure you're never too far away from action. To be successful in this match, you must be a bull 
future. You must be able to pick up the scraps, pick up the pieces. Of course, our good buddy JBL knows a thing or two about lengthy WWE Championship range. Uh, John is the longest running WWE Champion in SmackDown history. It must have been difficult to hold the title for the time he had. 280 days. Yeah, Michael, I'm thinking incredibly difficult. The longer the reign got, the more the pressure continued to build. And he'd have to defend it day in and day out. You know, both John Cena and Ryback have a beef with CM Punk. And I don't think it would be smart for either one of them to turn their back on the WWE Champion at any point. Oh, look at Punk. Punk's trying to get Cena to tap out here. He may have to. And if Cena taps out, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. The big guy, Ryback. Oh, my gosh. He, he picked CM Punk up like a feather. Ryback oh. slamming Punk. And now Cena from behind. Planted Ryback, right back, it's Cena's, look at, oh my god! Look at Ryback, he's right back up already! Cena can't believe it, neither can I! It had absolutely no effect on Ryback, and now it's a slugfest! And the problem here is Punk's out of the equation, King. He could lose the championship, not even, not even be involved in the decision! Oh. Cena with some momentum! Uh -oh. Speaking of Punk... Watch out, the steps! Oh! Well, those are the dangers of a triple threat match. CM Punk waiting on the outside, pulled Cena out, and then slammed John right into those metal steps. In a shot to the solar plexus, and he dodges that one. Ouch! And he collapses down to the floor. Well, Cole, I'll tell you, I don't know how many comic books CM Punk has in his collection, but I do know this. He has enough ink right there on his... Critical moment in this matchup. Cena! Wait a minute! Went for the AA! And now Ryback's got Cena up! Looking for shell shock here! Ryback marching around the ring! Shell shock for Cena! We had a new champion! We had a new champion! Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute! Hell? What is this? What is going on here? Assaulting Ryback! Who are these guys? King, wait, wait a minute! That, that looks like Roman Reigns from NXT! And is that Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins? I think so. Yeah, it is. What are they doing? Ooh, they assaulted wow. Ryback. Reigns and Ambrose and Rollins. Look out, King. Get out of the way, King. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Can you believe this? Ryback was going to be champion, but these NXT upstarts have ruined his night. This could do it. One, two, three. What I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, is that these three men dressed in black with security equipment on rushed the ring and assaulted John Cena and Ryback. They came out here and stood next to us at our announce table. And it was plain as day that these men are from our developmental group, NXT. You're right. These three men, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins, may have impacted the long-term history of WWE here tonight. If you want to see what happened in the last episode of this, click the first link. If you want to see more wrestling videos, check out the WWE 2K14 playlist. If you want to see more videos from me, click the subscribe button.